Hey, YouTubers. This is a replication of a what's called a Fogel or Fogel um, semiconductor uh, charge barrier. Um, I actually had to dig around a little bit. <sighs> See, I don't put videos up until I found something that actually works and has some merit. And so I just took some digging and I found this patent for it. And uh, I'll, I'll provide that in a link that you can download. But uh, here I have a little capacitor right here. And uh, it's blocking the current. Okay, that's the current reading. Uh, this battery right here is just running the switch. And so we're not going to be looking at that power at all. Okay, we're looking at this power that we're pulsing. Okay, so on the negative side here, I have the meter. Okay, and I have it on the microamp range. Okay, and then the other side of the meter. I have going on one side of this capacitor and then through the switch and then through the coil and then of course back to the positive of our power source and <clears throat> I'm reading no current when I turn this on not even a microamp of current now I've been trying to understand what's going on here uh, and it's really hard to see. I've used nothing but capacitors as a power source and an output to collect. So I have this shorted out uh, completely on zero. And uh, <clears throat> I'm going to turn it on right now. This. Okay, that's turned on. And as you can see, there is absolutely no current over here at all. Unless it's like in the pico amp range or the nano amp range, which is like extremely small, I can't see it on this meter. And if I turn it to the milliamp range, which is a little bit bigger, of course there's nothing there. And so I'm leaving it on the microamp range, and it's not even one microamp. It's less than one microamp. Uh, if there's any current there at all, I don't know. But when I take this off, look at this. I get this little voltage in the milliamp range charging this capacitor. And there's not even a microamp flowing out of this battery. Uh, I don't completely understand it, but my theory is uh, this capacitor <clears throat> see this is what Tom Bearden or Burden Bearden was talking about as far as uh, he did mention this Fogel or Fogel uh, invention device apparatus this capacitor capacitors block DC current and so it's acting like there's this little natural AC in here because look, there is an AC. But now we can't rely on the accuracy of this AC on this meter. And it's showing an AC microamp. So it's still a tiny little uh, amperage here, but it's uh, on the microamp range. Okay, but it's, it's AC, but we can't really rely on that because this is operating at the highest frequency that I can push it. I got two 100 ohm resistors right here, and I, I can't push it beyond that. And I, I think that's like 48,000 or, uh, yeah, about 48K or 48,000 hertz or 48K kilohertz, 48 kilohertz. I think this is the highest I can push that. And it just does show this AC, which uh, is not accurate, I don't think, at all. Because this is this meter is meant to measure AC coming out of the wall <laughs> here uh, at 60 hertz. with a perfect sine wave like this. And this is not a perfect sine wave, I'm pretty sure of it. But they're showing no DC, which would make sense. Because uh, capacitors block DC current. So, you know, I've tried looking as hard as I can on 
like if there's current leakage going on in here. Uh, I pulsed it by hand with just just the power source running into this capacitor only. And uh, pulsing it and nothing happens. It doesn't charge up in any way at all. Because this capacitor is blocking the current, of course. But for some reason, when I have it on this secondary coil here, uh, which I got on these diodes, I got two diodes here in parallel to catch the collapsing magnetic field that shouldn't be there. Uh, it's charging this capacitor up, and it gets up to about 670 millivolts, over half a volt, <coughs> for low, no current, for no current at all. And there's not even a microamp in there coming out. And I can even short this. Uh, I can even short this out, and uh, <coughs> it doesn't reflect in any way at all. Still, not even a, a microamp. So I, I don't know what exactly is going on. The theory, the theory I have for it is, uh, let's try to focus that in. Is that there's a what Tom Bearden is talking about with pointing flow and heavy side flow. Is a flow of, I guess, cold current flowing outside of the wire and not actually through it, but like out, outside of it, like right here, is my best guess. Let me get a sip of coffee right here. Okay. So <clears throat> that's my best guess, and there's not actually any current flowing, and if there is, I can't see it. I've tried measuring it, uh, I've tried using a capacitor as a power source, and it doesn't work. It doesn't work because <clears throat> the leakage out of these is happening much faster than what I'm collecting over here. So I, I, can't, I can't use this. I can't use that to measure anything. I would probably need an oscilloscope for sure. But I try to make these videos because there are people out there who don't have expensive equipment to look at this stuff with. And so this is geared towards those people and trying to keep this as simplistic as possible. But I did replicate this. I really couldn't find any other replication online. I looked. I searched. And I won't post a video until I find something that has some kind of merit. But I can't seem to understand what's going on with this it's just drawing no current not even a microamp of current and yet i can get some millivolts charging you know and i've tried just replacing the coil with just a capacitor and it doesn't even really charge the capacitor up uh the other theory is that there's an ac <coughs> that's appearing from within the capacitor and maybe that has something to do with it um i just don't know but in reality, capacitors block DC current, and so there shouldn't be anything coming off this coil. But there is. And so I wanted to show you that. Um, I guess that's all for now. Uh, I'm going to go get a transistor from Radio Shack and replace this and see if it does the same thing. I think it will. This just doesn't make sense. Uh, this battery has nothing to do with it because it's powering this switch and this power supply is completely separate and that's what's being pulsed through the meter no current and i'll provide a schematic for this so you can do this on your own and uh look at this for yourself um i noticed that this capacitor across pins five and one which is the ground seems to improve it it's not necessary but it does improve it, the charging a little bit um but this capacitor should be blocking current. So I don't get it. I don't exactly understand what's happening. Uh, the patent says, and Tom Bearden says, that this is a charge barrier that's blocking regular current. And, uh, and, and Tesla, Nikola Tesla says that uh, there's an oscillation in a capacitor. And he says it's a high frequency one. So I think that might have a lot to do with it. But that should be blocking current, which it is right here. But 
we're getting an output out over here in the millivolt range, over half a volt. So, um, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe and please share. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.